Hello and welcome back to my channel. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, my name is Debbie and it is always a pleasure. I wanted to do a video where I recreated a look that I was inspired by. So I saw on Ariel's Instagram a picture of Kylie a few weeks ago with the yellow inner corner. And I just thought it was a really fresh take on like a very classy look. I hope you enjoy watching and that you see that these looks on celebrities are actually pretty attainable. And I mean, it's not exact, but Ariel, if you're watching this, you are one of my biggest inspirations. If you'd like to see how I got this look, please keep watching. So before I get started, I'm gonna do skincare. I'm first going to wipe my face down with the Glow Tonic by Pixie. I really like the stuff. It makes my face feel really like fresh and clean. And then I'm gonna hit my face with some brightening serum by Tatcha and then put on my polypeptide cream by Drunk Elephant. So I feel like a lot of these celebrity makeup artists use really good ingredients in their skincare so that the skin looks really plump and moisturized, the best canvas possible. Yeah, and then some Clinique eye cream. Started on my eyebrows. I have a few benefit products that I wanted to use. My lovely boyfriend actually got me the Desi Perkins collection. In order to get started, I just wanted to do the clear brow gel first just to kind of shape so taking the number three benefit powder, like eyebrow powder set duo thing, to fill in the sparse areas. And Ariel definitely does a pretty bold brow on most of his clients. So I'm gonna do a bold brow. Makeup artists like Ariel or like Patrick Ta or even a couple of makeup artists that I've met in the industry here in California, like in LA. It's just everybody has such a different style and it's so inspirational to see what people are coming up with. Soon we're gonna be putting watercolor on our eyebrows. <laughs> okay, and now that the eyebrows are done, I'm going to my eye makeup first. So taking the Naked Skin Concealer in light neutral, I'm going to put that all over my eyelids and blend that out with a beauty blender. Taking the Creamy Brow Highlighting Pencil, the highbrow in the more pinky shade, I'm going to clean up under my eyebrows just because I really like the way this has been looking the whole clean under eye look. Looking at the photos of both Shay and Kylie, the looks on the eye, actual the actual eye makeup themselves were quite neutral. So taking the Friendcation palette by Dose of Colors, the collaboration with Katie and Desi, I'm going to take their neutral tones and create a pretty simple eye look with it. Firstly, I'm going to take the color Necessary in the palette and place that on my lid. Bringing it up to where my brow actually starts, right here. That kind of starts with the whole, like bringing your face in, slimming it out, and then it helps with the nose contour. Almost focusing more color towards the inner corner of your eye. Taking a more like defining crease brush, MB46 brush, and take the color Hula by Benefit, and put that in my crease. Even more to deepen it up. And I just have my Hula in a little Z palette. A lot of pictures of the makeup that Ariel does on like Desi Perkins. He really does that whole like high up towards the brow and then it goes into a no nose contour. I'm gonna take the TARDIS eyeliner, tight line my eyes. So it's pretty close to her lash line and then he really thickens it out and like brings it out pretty wide. And now that the eyeliner is done, I'm going to put mascara, the NARS Climax mascara. And in the photo, I can tell that Kylie's wearing lash extensions. So a pair of lashes that look kind of like lash extensions are just the regular Ardell Dummy Wispies. I actually learned about these lashes by Makeup by Mario. I don't know if it was actually him, but there was this whole uh, article that was saying that Kim Kardashian wore these lashes. And so I was like, oh, I want to try them. And then I tried them and I really liked them. <laughs> While that lash glue is drying, I'm just gonna apply some of the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer onto my face. I love this stuff. It just smells so good and I feel like it's one of the only primers that truly fills in my pores and doesn't make me break out. And applying that onto my lashes. You can see that already, it like really helped darken and lift a little bit. Okay, now that the eyes are done, I'm going to get started on my face and do the inner corner later. Born This Way Foundation in Golden Beige. Two pumps of that and then add some of the strobe cream by MAC into that. And then apply that to my face and blend it out with my beauty blender. 
And then taking some of my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. Place that in my inner corner right here. Hit the sides of my nose, under my eyes, kind of clean up where my scar is under my eyebrow right there. And I'm gonna blend that out. Kind of re-moisten it a little bit with some setting spray and blend that out. The Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 420 for my contour. So it looks like this. I've never contoured with this before, but you know, thought I'd try something new. And taking my finger, I'm gonna start my nose contour by kind of blending the tip of my nose. Run it along the sides of my nose. This helps with like a pretty more softer contour. Then I'm going to take some Patrick Star powder, clean up the mistakes. And then taking a blending brush, some of the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, as I did before on my crease, and just bronze up the outer perimeters of my face and set the work that I just did on my contour. I feel like makeup artists always do like layers, lots of layering. Or taking that Hoola Bronzer, I'm just going to emphasize the nose contour again as well, starting with my crease and bringing that in. And taking that same Hoola Bronzer, I'm going to smoke my lower lash line out with that. Dust away the contour on the side of my nose. And I feel like this is looking pretty good. Kylie, and I feel like Shay as well, had quite a bit of blush on. I'm gonna take the Captivating Blush by Tarte and just kind of pile that on. I wonder if she has that a little bit like on her nose or anything like that. Maybe a little bit on her nose and a little bit on her forehead, but mainly just focused on the apples of her cheeks. A highlight, I'm going to take the Amrisi highlight. What is this thing called? By Anastasia Beverly Hills. Apply that onto my cheekbones. Not too much, she has a pretty subtle highlight on her cheeks. So in the photo, there's a definite like highlight on her nose. So taking that Amrisi highlight, I'm going to go down very straight down the bridge of my nose. Spray my face. Okay, and so for my waterline, I just wanted to take the same Benefit highbrow, but put it in my waterline. I assume it's fine, but in the photo of Kylie, she had a nude waterline, so I wanted to make sure that I had a similar fresh look. And I have Gus, because he refuses to be anywhere but my lap right now. And then taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette, I'm gonna take the yellow lip color and place that in my inner corner, because it's pretty bright. Oh yeah. Okay, and now that that is in my inner corner, I'm gonna kind of blend it out with a blending brush. And then on top of that, I'm going to add this glitter. I think that will make a lot more sense. Ooh, that looks pretty dope. Okay, that looks pretty dope. Should I zoom in so you can see? But it looks good with the yellow nails. And then taking that same necessary color from the Friendcation palette, I'm going to Deepen the outer V of my lower lash line just a little bit. Taking two different lip liners by MAC, I'm going to line my lips. Firstly, I'm gonna take cork and line my lower lip. Overline my upper lip. Concentrating most of the overlining on my cupid's bow. Kylie's lip is a little bit rounded on the top. And then fill in my top lip. Hi! Del Taco, you yes, brought it? Yes. Del Taco! <laughs> <laughs> You're the real MVP. <laughs> Dude, I got, I got you other one right here, baby. I'll get that later. Oh, okay. Ah! And then I'm going to fill in the middle part and the top lip with the Spice Lip Liner by MAC. The picture of Kylie, she literally, her top lip is a different color than her bottom lip. And so that is the final look. I am pretty much obsessed with it. You know, coming from somebody who loves the color yellow, I don't know why I've never worn like a, like a yellow inner corner. I think sometimes you need an inspiration, you know? So yes, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe down below and let me know if there's any other looks from Ariel or maybe Patrick Ta that I should recreate. And yeah, it is always a pleasure. Bye. Hey.